first they do. Now, this is my thing. Y'all telling me, asking me, am I going to help anybody? Why am I going to help anybody who was calling me a half-sibling? Why am I going to help anybody that was saying they don't fuck with me like that? Remember, y'all was the same ones that was coming over here telling me what they were saying. So how could y'all even have the audacity to come over here and ask me, am I going to... Y'all stupid. Y'all sound dumb. Let's get one thing straight. I ain't never been a fool. And I'm not going to start being one. Period. And she damn sure don't treat Lolo. Thank you. I don't know why y'all even keep mentioning these people on my live. It's always a black sheep when you get older. It's sad because you're the one that has the most wisdom. They should be in your corner. Huh. You would think. <laughs> you would think. But it's this devil. You know, it's like, I don't know. I don't know if all of them want to be the oldest or what the case may be. Now they can fight over that shit. Because guess what? I'm good. I ain't got time. I'm not doing no more back and forth. That shit is a headache. Like, i never seen no shit like this in my life. And I'm just being honest. Not with no siblings. Like, that's, it, it's just too much. And then you got to think, we went through a lot, too. My son went through a lot. So it's like I should have been just cut everybody off. But no, Nika still trying to be cool, trying to be peaceful with everybody. And, man, you shouldn't have been the one on the TV show. But like, hey, and nigga, nigga sucks on my boy's DM talking about, well, so he gonna be with Jaden Alexis when he come up. I don't got nothing to do with none of that. Because guess what? When this sister right here tried to come on the internet, this sister right here tried to come on the internet and tell her to leave yo alone because of what he did as far as with my nephew, I was, I was wrong. I was wrong. Like, that's, I love my motherfucking mother. Can't nobody sit here on my live and talk shit about my mother. Because I'm a straight block, you dumb ass. You feel me? So this is the thing, right? I said, Ma, Mommy said, Nika, I tried to call and warn her. I said, oh, these kids, when they get grown, they don't even want to answer the phone for you. Facts. And every time my mother call, I'm answering my phone. Period. Period. So Mommy, like Nika, I called her. I cried to her on her voicemail, telling her, please come home, bring Junior home. I said, when was this, Ma? She said, not even two, three days ago, Nika. She said, but she would not answer me because such and such was in her ear. And I said, wait a minute, hold up. So you mean to tell me another sibling was in her ear? She listened to the other sibling instead of listening, trying to hear what her mother got to say. If she would have listened to my mother, I don't even believe she would be in the situation that she in there. And I'm just being honest. Like I said, every time my mother called me and tell me, Nika, do this. Or Nika, you got to do this. I do it. And that's facts. That's facts. Period. I knew China was going to come out and say something. I already knew. She said she ain't going to help her. Her mama tried to call her and warn her. She ain't listen. She listened to other siblings. My thing is, now that you said that you ain't acknowledging Krishan and y'all ain't seeing eye to eye, China shouldn't get on that no more and say what Krishan ain't doing to help out anybody. She's talking about some of the brother got holes in his shoes, the mama homeless, the other sister struggling. She shouldn't say nothing else about Krishan. If it's really I ain't rocking with you, don't speak on her. Now I understand she said she wasn't speaking on her, but she was on live and everybody in her comment section was like saying, oh, Krishan, Krishan locked up, what you gonna do now? So I understand when you wanna respond to people, you're not really talking about Krishan until they bring him up. I get that. But at the end of the day, I feel like they sisters, they should always have each other back. But just because you born with somebody or you share a mother with somebody. That don't mean you family. It just like it just happened to be a circumstance where y'all siblings, but y'all not family. Loyalty, respect, trust, all that good stuff, that makes you family. It could be somebody who you grew up with for 10 plus years. Y'all don't got the same mother, same father, but y'all consider yourself family. So whatever happened between Krishan, because it seemed like the older sister, just like everybody else, was trying to tell Krishan, Blueface ain't shit, Blueface don't care about Junior, leave him alone, but she felt like anybody that's telling her that, she don't wanna hear it, so that causes friction. So I understand that most of the times when sisters beef or girls with friends beef, it's over a nigga because they'd rather listen to the nigga than listen to the person that been with them their whole time in their life. And when you go through some shit like that, you just gotta let time heal it. Whether time gonna bring y'all closer together or further away. 
It just is what it is, man. But only Krishan can get herself out of this shit. She put herself in a situation, only she can help herself out of the situation. What y'all think about this shit, Bubby? How much?